Good afternoon, I'm Keenan Smith. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. General Motors releasing its full year 2020 and fourth quarter earnings report earlier today. The automaker's profit dropped more than 4% in 2020, but a strong second half helped the automaker offset pandemic closures. The automaker made more than $6 billion as demand for vehicles surged late in the year. In the fourth quarter alone, GM made nearly $3 billion. 44,000 members of the UAW will get profit sharing checks around $9,000 each. Though inventory was short due to factory shutdowns, buyers bought more expensive trucks and SUVs, helping GM turn a profit. Now, GM CEO Mary Barra discussing the company's commitment to clean energy with investors and analysts today. Barra reminded them about plans to become carbon neutral in global products by 2040 and eliminate tailpipe emissions in new vehicles by 2035. This fall, the company will begin building the Hummer EV at its Detroit Hamtramck plant. And the pandemic is shining a light on a problem that has existed in Michigan for years, a teacher shortage. Union members say teachers are retiring at an increasing rate during the school year. Teachers tell us they don't have enough money to get supplies they need for the school year either. You can read hundreds of comments about the issue on our Channel 7 Facebook page. Well, it's all about the cold, and it has been since last Friday, and it just keeps rolling on. Temperatures in the upper teens to near 20 today. A few flurries or light snow showers, especially south of Detroit. Better chance for snow this weekend on Saturday into Sunday with temperatures by Sunday. Highs only in the teens.